them successfully into your meter. Now, joining me live in the studio, MD, CEO of KPLC, Dr. Engineer Joseph Siror. The engineer, good to see you. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. Thank you Thanks so much. so much for Jeff. your time. It's my great pleasure too. Good to see you. Yes. So, break it down for us. What exactly does this upgrade, update mean? Possibly using an example would do us better. When we came to the year 1999, crossing into the year 2000, there was a drive or there was a mechanism where certain information systems, which were unable to transition properly to the year 2000, would be upgraded so that come the year 2000, they would function well. And the reason then was quite simple, that certain systems were only using two digits to display the year. So that is to say, it would be starting 99 to stand for the year 1999. Right. And the moment it would increase by one, which is the next year, it would actually go to zero, zero, mm -hmm. because it has only two spaces to store the year. And those systems had to be expanded so that instead of storing the year in two digits, it would store in four. Now, we have a similar thing happening to all the prepaid meters. This is not only in Kenya. It's a global thing, Jeff. And, and today is when, as Kenya Power, we were actually launching the drive to update this. The reason is simple. Without really going into a lot of te technicalities, the system that is currently using is based on 1st January 1993. And there is a 24 digits which is stored within the token that is always sent to the customers, which is storing the number of minutes from 1st January 1993. Mm -hmm. And the number of those minutes, come actually November this year, would have reached the maximum. So the moment it then moves to the next minute, it would appear like it has gone back to zero, zero, or it has gone back to year, uh, 1st January 1993. And of course, the meters themselves would reject that because it would appear that instead of going to the next day, it has gone back many days before. Right. And that is actually uh, the reason why today we launched the drive for so doing. So, oh, yes. Go ahead, tell me something. Why did it take 31 years? The, it's that at one year, if you calculated, and maybe you can do it in your private time, the number of minutes that have transpired since 1st January 1993 is about 16 million. Uh, 16 million. And that is actually what it, uh, the number of digits that occupy 24 bits. Mm. You know this is binary, it's computer, Jeff. Yes. It only knows zeros and ones. That's it. Nothing else. Correct. So if you counted and if you had 24 spaces to have zeros and ones, when you put one in 24, it will actually be 16 million minutes, which is exactly the period it would have transpired from the 1st of, of January to uh, November this year. Uh -huh. And it is for that reason that we have to update all these prepaid meters. Who is affected? The, in the country, we have a total of 9.6 million meters. Out of these 9.6 million, 7.4 are prepaid. These are the ones who are going to be affected. The ones using uh, the 2.2 million who are using postpaid will not be affected in any way. But for the 7.4 million, each and every one of them has to be updated with these two codes, which, as was explained, there are two codes. The first one is reset, the next one is update. Uh -huh. Now, unlike the year 2000, when the IT industry really made a kill because they were paying, or you needed to pay to ensure that your system is compliant, for this particular one, we are saying it's absolutely free. There's no cost implication? No cost implication. Zero? Yet. Zero. Unlike the year 2000, mm. this one is zero cost to the customer. Uh -huh. The only thing you need to do when it's your turn, you key in the two codes which are sent to you, one for resetting and the one for updating, and you're home and dry. But you know, engineer, Kenyans, we are a lastminute.com people. Absolutely. We wait for the last minute. You will send all this, all this uh, details, you will send all the, uh, the notices, Yes. but we'll wait to the last minute. Absolutely. What happens? Now, what we have done, Jeff, and I remember cracking the joke that as Kenyans, we are known for long distance running. To the extent that when you enter some of these international stadiums, the moment Kenyans enter the race, they reduce to spectators. So we have an earlier deadline, and that's actually why we've put that 1st of August. That is not the absolute deadline, but it is our deadline for the purpose 
of ensuring people are compliant. Mm -hmm. But in the event some bust a few, we still have a, a lax for us to ensure that everybody's on board. But we have programmed it out yeah. to ensure that each and every meter is actually updated within this particular period. At the same time, there are people in Mashinani, there are grandmothers, there are illiterate people, uh, there are people who will not understand what the, uh, you know, key, two key code. What will happen to them? How do they get up to speed? Thank you. That's a very good question, Jeff. We are actually using all channels of communication. We are using the vernacular stations. We are using Twitter. We are using all channels to ensure this communication is disseminated to each and every person, including the people you've just described. Yes. But the other aspect, Jeff, is that, like I said, we have an earlier deadline, so that in the event they may not have had, there is some little time which we can actually use to ensure that everybody's on board. But definitely, unless someone uh, updates, by the deadline, if you buy any tokens, you would not actually be able to load. You, you will don't. not? You will not be able to load. So the word has to spread. I mean, people... Absolutely. If people have grandmothers or if people have relatives, they have to help them upload, uh, update this. In fact, you've assisted me a lot. You know, it can even be disseminated. The aspect of talking to our grandmothers and all those who are out there. Yeah. Thank you so much for that suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you my uh, invoice. We, we can, buy, we can buy give you a few tokens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Engineer, tell me, there's something known as idle meters. Right? Yes. Landlords, uh, you know, tenants who have gone abroad. Absolutely. Landlords don't, you know, they've switched off those uh, meters. Okay. What happens to those so-called idle meters? Definitely, our intention is really to reach out to all the landlords to ensure they, have update, they are updated. But in the event that they are idle, at the point when they would need to use them, they will definitely be required to update them. And they the same codes would still be available for them to do so. The only issue would be if you will not have updated your, your, your token meter or your prepaid meter, any time after November, you would not be able to load the tokens unless you follow the same procedure. There are still some Kenyans on postpaid. You mentioned there was 9.8 million total, yes. 7.4 on prepaid. And 2.2. 2.2. On, on postpaid. Correct. What happened? I mean, are you going to synchronize the postpaid and the prepaid at some point? Or what happens to postpaid right now? Postpaid, they will continue to be so. But possibly if we were to talk about the future in terms of the roadmap that we have, we have a roadmap where we want to transition all our customers to smart meters. And the smart meters can work either in postpaid mode or prepaid mode. For the postpaid meters, you don't need to do anything. And the reason is simple. You are not receiving any tokens. Right. And so there is no key that you are receiving. It's just a question of reading and you being built. Engineer, you know uh, the budget reading happens tomorrow. Absolutely. Treasury Secretary will table it in Parliament tomorrow. What are you expecting in your sector? Uh, are you expecting any goodies? Are you expecting a any windfall from the budget? Uh, that's a good question. And in fact, mentioning uh, issues of taxes, you know, it, it reminds me of my days in KRE. Mm. KRE is still my longest serving employer. I work with You're them still for loyal a to them. I'm very loyal, so I'm conflicted in that question. <laughs> yeah, but the issue is that, yes, yeah. in terms of definitely, uh, you, I think you would really appreciate that any investment that goes to the energy sector has a very, bi very big impact on, um, on, on the citizens and on the economy of the country. So we are looking forward to see how much is going to be allocated to the sector to the different programs, be it generation, transmission, distribution, and especially even in the last mile to reach that village which has never seen power, possibly from independence. The impact is really massive, both from the economic side, from the social side, and even from security perspective. Yeah. Because we, we've learned that anywhere you put street lights and you provide power, people tend to work longer, and even the business activity really increases in leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. So we will be very keen to see what happens in that space and the goodies that do come to our sector. How has the last mile program been going? Is it on course? It's on course. In fact, I think, is it a week ago when the president launched a num uh, uh, some last mile programs, which are, were going, are going to impact about 32 counties? The impact, I think, from the lessons we've learned, Jeff, it is really good. And this, was, this is an initiative that was started uh, in, in this country, and the impact, I think it's really for other countries to learn 
in terms of how to finance and how to ensure each and every person is rich. Because the aspect of only using the commerce to drive the connections at times disadvantages or it slows down the reach of electricity to people who are so needy and whose lives could be impacted much earlier when such programs are implemented. So it's a game changer? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Bottom line, engineer, talk to Kenyans who are looking at you right now. Those 7.4 million meter users. Yes. Tell them right now what to do going forward. Yeah, I would like to request that for each and everyone who is using the prepaid meters, we have zoned the entire country. The entire 7.4 million are zoned. And um, when it comes to your turn, so it's not like we want all of them to update at the same time. We have zoned them, and when it comes to the turn of that particular group to update their meters, they are going to receive via SMS. Uh, they are going to receive two keys. One, the first one, is the one that they will key in to reset their meters. And the next one is to update their meters. But first of all, even before you do that, if any of you has purchased any tokens prior to that, you will be required to first load them. Uh, let me repeat that, that if you had bought any tokens before that, and you have not loaded them into your prepaid meter, you load them first. Then after that, upon receiving the, uh, the two-digit code, uh, uh, the, rather the two codes, input the first one, which will have the impact of resetting your meter. And then input the second one, and that will update your meter. And again, you do not need anybody to assist you. Do not accept anyone masquerading or rather representing Kenya Power to come and assist you. Just load the two codes first to reset and the next one to update and you are home and dry. And it is absolutely free and it does not change the cost per unit. Because I think there was a talk, Jeff, that possibly this is a, a scheme and the, I mean, the units are going to be less. That's absolutely not true. You will even confirm once you do it that it's actually the case. Thank you so much. Let's work together to ensure that your meter is updated and you continue to enjoy our services. We are there for you. Thank you. There's a reason you're a doctor and an engineer. Asante Ndugu. Nashukuru sana. Nashukuru pia. I really appreciate it. Dr. Engineer Joseph Sirol, the MDC of KPLC, breaking it down. Starts today. Look out for that message on your SMS. And if you have relatives and older people in the villages, make sure you spread the word. We're going to take a break right now. There's plenty more news ahead. Business, sports, and